So no matter what you are going through, I want you to have faith. You are going to overcome in Jesus' name. Let me close with these three characters in the Bible who did not deal with their mountains on time. John the Baptist, I wish he was praying in the prison, binding Herodias. I wish he dealt with Herodias before Herodias dealt with him. Herodias was the mountain that destroyed John the Baptist. She was the one who asked her daughter, ask for the head of John the Baptist. I wish he was in the prison, raising his hand, blasting in tongues, removing the mountain called Herodias. He would never have been destroyed. It was Delilah that terminated Samson. It was a game of death that Samson played with Delilah. How can somebody ask for the secret of your power? You didn't tell her the first time. People came against you. You overcome them. She came again and said, you deceived me. And Samson did not get it. And she, he was still deceiving her until he told her the truth. Delilah terminated Samson. It was a mountain that Samson should have dealt with. But he kept playing, enjoying it. Love killed him. Love killed Samson. No Delilah will terminate you in Jesus' name. And Jezebel finished Elijah. As powerful as Elijah was. This was a man on Mount Carmel that contested against the prophet of Baal. And God showed him power. God proved himself that his God who answers by, by fire. One Jezebel said, for you to kill all this prophet, by this time tomorrow, the same thing will happen to you. I'm going to kill you. And the almighty prophet Elijah ran away at the threat of a mountain called Jezebel. Cave. A man of God gave in to fear. Fate left him. The mountain called Jezebel looked so impossible for him to remove. And he was living in the cave. The word of God came to him again and said, go and stand on the mountains. But the man of God did not go to the mountain top. The Bible says he wrapped his face with his mantle. And he stood at the, at the entrance of the cave. He didn't leave the cave. And that second attempt, the Lord said to him, Enough. Now return. And go and anoint Elisha to replace you. That was the end of Elijah. 